He was an American actor, director, producer, and game show panelist. His career spanned over three decades, with notable roles in sitcoms, crime dramas, and science fiction series. His name is Bill Bixby. In the world of entertainment, there is one name that stands out, Bill Bixby, a talented actor who left an indelible mark on the industry. Born as Wilfred Bailey Everett Bixby III, he embarked on a career that spanned over three decades, captivating audiences on stage, in films, and on television series. Bixby's journey began with his notable roles in popular shows such as My Favorite Martian and The Courtship of Eddie's Father, where he showcased his comedic prowess and charm. But it was his portrayal of the stage illusionist Anthony Blake in the NBC crime drama series, The Magician, that truly showcased Bixby's versatility as an actor. With his captivating performances, he brought the character to life, leaving audiences spellbound with his mastery of the art of illusion. This role solidified his status as a talented actor who could embody a wide range of characters. However, it was his portrayal of Dr. David Banner in the CBS science fiction drama series, The Incredible Hulk, that catapulted Bixby to legendary status. His nuanced performance as the tormented scientist who transforms into a powerful green monster captivated audiences around the world. Bixby's ability to convey the internal struggles and emotional depth of the character made him the perfect fit for the role, and his portrayal remains iconic to this day. Bill Bixby's impact and legacy in the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. His talent, versatility, and ability to bring characters to life continue to inspire actors and entertainers today. Whether it was his comedic timing, his captivating performances as a stage illusionist, or his unforgettable portrayal of Dr. David Banner, Bixby's contributions to the world of entertainment will forever be remembered and celebrated. His legacy serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the lasting impact that a talented actor can have on audiences worldwide. In the bustling city of San Francisco, a young boy named Wilfred Bailey Everett Bixby III came into the world on January 22, 1934. Bill Bixby, as he would later be known, was the only child of his parents, Wilfred and Jane Bixby. His father worked as a store clerk, while his mother held a senior managerial position at Ike Magnin and Company. When Bill was just eight years old, his father enlisted in the Navy during World War II and was sent off to the South Pacific. This separation marked a turning point in Bill's life, as he navigated his formative years without the guiding presence of his father. During this time, he attended Grace Cathedral and even sang in the church choir. However, a mischievous act with a slingshot during a service led to his expulsion from the choir. Undeterred by this setback, Bill's mother encouraged him to take ballroom dance lessons. Little did they know that this would ignite a lifelong passion for dance within him. With his newfound talent, he began dancing all around the city, honing his skills and captivating audiences with his graceful movements. While pursuing his love for dance, Bill attended Lowell High School, where he discovered a talent for oratory and drama. He joined the Lowell Forensic Society, perfecting his public speaking and dramatic abilities. Although his grades were average, he found success in high school speech tournaments, competing against other schools in the region. In 1952, after graduating from high school, Bill made a decision that went against his parents' wishes. He enrolled in the City College of San Francisco with a major in drama, determined to follow his passion for acting. However, fate had other plans for him. The Korean War was raging, and shortly after his 18th birthday, Bill was drafted into the military. Instead of joining the United States Army, he chose to serve in the United States Marine Corps Reserve. He was stationed at Naval Air Station Oakland, where he worked in personnel management for Marine Attack Squadron 141. By the time he was discharged in 1956, he had achieved the rank of Private First Class. Eager to continue his education, Bill enrolled at the University of California, Berkeley, following in his parents' footsteps. However, he left just a few credits shy of earning his degree. Undeterred, he packed his bags and headed to Hollywood, California, in pursuit of his dreams. In the early days, he took on various odd jobs, including working as a bellhop and a lifeguard. But it was his talent and charisma that ultimately caught the attention of others. In 1959, he was hired as a model and began doing commercial work for General Motors and Chrysler, laying the foundation for his future success in the entertainment industry. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.